Alright, so this video is going to be a quick demonstration video. We're going to start off with this NPN transistor. It's a 2N3904. You can see the three leads, the middle, or the three pins. The middle pin is connected to this resistor, which comes to the positive side of the power. We got a 5 volt power supply there. And the other two pins are floating right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a current measurement. As I said, this was a 33 kilo ohm resistor. Where'd that bag go? Right there. 33 kilo ohms, so 33,000 ohms to the base of the transistor. So we're going to have current coming to the base of the transistor. It's got to go to the emitter, so we're going to lose about 0.7 volts in the process. But in any case, we're going to measure micro amps. So micro is uh, indicated by the letter mu, the Greek letter mu. It kind of looks like a funny looking U. And a micro amp is one millionth of an amp. It takes one million micro amps to equal one amp, and it takes 1,000 micro amps to equal a milliamp. So, we'll take a look here. We have about 134 micro amps. And while we're looking at this reading, pay attention that it's pretty stable, it's not moving around much you'll understand why I'm bringing this up in a little bit. But in any case, we have 133 microamps, so that's a little more than a tenth of a, a milliamp. So our next reading is going to be in the milliamp range. We're going to take this jumper here, and we're going to connect it. I'll lift this up so you can see it easier. We're going to connect it to the roll with the collector, the top pin of the transistor. There you go. And we're going to connect it directly to the positive side of the power rail. And now we're going to take a current measurement in the milliamps. So we'll see what we get here. And the emitter to ground, you can see we're about uh, 39 milliamps, but it's rising pretty quick. So I'm just going to call this close to about 40 milliamps. And I don't know where it's going to level off to, but if you remember earlier, I said we had a steady current from the base of the transistor. As you can see, the collector to emitter current is nowhere near as steady. This is pretty much all the current that's flowing through that wire there, collector to the emitter. Plus, we're also adding the base to emitter current, but that was much smaller than this. So in any case, I did the math with uh, 40 milliamps of current due to the uh, about uh, 0.13 milliamps of current to the base of the transistor we're getting about in the range of about 300 times the current going from collector to emitter as the base to emitter and that gives you an idea of the gain now of course the number rose higher than that so ultimately we were getting more than 300 times the uh, collector to emitter current then base to emitter current and I don't know where it would have stopped but uh, this is good enough for us right now it's just a demonstration to kind of prove a point it's not a working circuit or anything so now moving along we come to this multimeter here it has a transistor tester so I'm gonna put this to HFE so HFE is the same thing as gain so now we're using the NPN transistor, so we'll be on this side of the uh, tester there. And you can see, I don't know how focused it is, but uh, we got uh, emitter up there, base there, collector there, emitter down there. So we're going to need these three, or uh, these three up here settings, because the base is in the middle. We're going to need the collector at the bottom and the emitter at top. So that's opposite of what I usually do. Usually I have the collector on top. And the emitter on bottom so usually the transistor is facing that way I gotta put the pins in the other way now the collector is on the bottom and the emitters on top flat side is facing the left and I already turned it on of course so once I get it plugged in we should get a reading so here you can see we have according to the meter about uh, 336 gain in that range it's dropping down 
and uh, earlier I had about 333 and looks like it's gonna go down a little bit more but let's just say okay it looks like it's gonna hold there so okay 330 we'll do that so with the 0.134 micro amps if we multiply that by uh, 330 then we would have about uh, 44.2 milliamps of current and as you can see with the uh, 0 134 microamps of current to the base of the transistor we got it was really close to 44 uh, milliamps of current running from collector to emitter so I know this is kind of confusing I I'm just doing this right after work I came up with this idea at work I'll do a future video with this with the diagram and it should make things a lot easier to understand thanks for watching anyways